Hello everyone and welcome to my kingdom. I'm having like a bad hair day with these flyaways, but it is a nice day regardless, so I figured we'd go out and do some things. This is actually like the first time I put on pants in almost a year. I've been putting this off for some time just because I'm too lazy to go. I'm gonna head to Home Goods today to see if I can find a bowl for the empty spot that I have on one of my shelves. And then I'm gonna go to two other fish stores to see if I can find some hardscape. I haven't been to either of these fish stores in a few years, so I'm not sure what they look like or what they have available. I could also buy hardscape online, but I am very picky with the rocks that I choose. I want to feel them out in person and I can get them right away instead of waiting for shipping too. So the way today goes is completely by chance. Home goods may not have anything that I could use as a tank and both of the fish stores might not even have anything I need or want. But it's a nice day and I'd rather get out than stay indoors anyways. So depending on how I feel, I'll try to ask if I can record inside the stores. It's just a little out there for me. It makes me a little uncomfortable to be like, you know, recording out in the open. Okay, so I'm gonna start driving to home goods now and then I will show you guys what they have. All right, so I just got to the Home Goods parking lot. Um, I'm gonna go in and look for a bowls, maybe look at crystals. I can honestly spend all day in there, but I want to leave and get everything done before traffic hour. It's 12 and traffic in the Bay Area starts around 2.30 to 3. And I also have to be somewhere at five. So I'm gonna just get in and get out. I will be sticking my camera in there and nonchalantly showing you guys a glass selection that I see when I go to Home Goods. Alright, so I am done in Home Goods. Um, this store didn't have as big as a glass selection as some others do, but I was able to find this. This one was on clearance for $18 just because it didn't have a cork, but I don't need a cork if I'm going to use it as an aquarium. I really like the shape of it and the size. Um, the only issue I'm going to have is getting anything through there. So. My sponges won't fit through here. I'm probably gonna have to rig up something with airline to make like a smaller sponge filter that I can put in here. But I'm guessing this is anywhere from one to two gallons. I normally compare it to the size of my head so you guys know. I would say I have an average size head. <laughs> and I also got suckered in line into buying a little porcupine pouch. You know how they leave all that stuff and you're waiting and you're looking at it too long. Super glad I found something because most of the time I don't. They do have a lot of different variety, but it's not always suitable for what I want to do with it. So now that we're done here, time check is 12.33. I did not spend that much time in there. I was running and I worked up a sweat also. So now I'm going to head on to Infinite Aquarium and see if I can find any hardscape there. Safety first. And we are ready to go. up getting rocks for both things. Um, it's petrified wood and I also got pagoda stone but I've never seen it with like really deep gray veining. It's probably going to change the chemistry of my water but it's pretty so. 
out a bunch of rocks. I absolutely destroyed that rock, <laughs> the rock rack, and um, they sent me home with a free floater. I asked for a piece of frog bait and they didn't have any available yet, so they just gave me one from their displays. So successful trip. Um, one last store. They may not be open, but I'm gonna go check anyways because it is one that I have been going to since childhood. So I will drive there now. So unfortunately they didn't have anything I needed, nor did I record anything in there. Uh, they also got a new shipment so they're unpacking everything and I didn't want to be in the way. So I will now take everything I got from the other places and go home and unpack. Here we are back in the fish room. I managed to carry everything in. So this is the new tank. I don't know what you would call this shape, but a bottle, I guess. It's gonna go right here. I don't think you guys can see that, but I'll show you after. I wanted to show you guys the rocks that I got. I got two kinds. Just, I think this is the petrified wood. Real petrified wood. I don't know if it's like actual petrified wood. I assume it is because you can kind of see the tree rings. And basically what real petrified wood is like over time wood becomes fossilized and minerals are placed where the actual wood was. And that's why they call it petrified wood because it's the same shape of wood but it is now rock. And I got pagoda stone which I did mention earlier, it's a lot of sediment between the actual stone, but I actually kind of prefer that look. That's why I chose it out. So these are the cubes that I'm gonna be scaping them with. Here's my piece of frog bit that I got. And I think I got everything done today that I wanted to do. In terms of the progress on the cubes, I still have to buy another one of these lights for the other cube. My substrate came in for them, which was the, the bio stratum from Fluval. And I still need to order plants. So I'll probably do that this week so I can get them in next week. And I will be working on them one at a time. As for this one, I'll probably just scape it as I get an idea. I'm thinking maybe long plants, so it kind of looks like a little mini ocean in there. But I will figure that out when I get to it. If you did learn anything or enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone.